Yo, this is the ancient Texan. It's about dusk here in my neck of the woods. This is my house and my garden, my wife's garden. She does a great job. I want to talk to you about something that's bothering me, and it should bother you. Infrastructure package. Speak. Lots of money. Let's take one example. 66 billion toward Amtrak. You say, hey, we need good trains. We need faster trains. We need modern trains. Trains are good. Public transportation help with CO2 emissions if more people will ride trains instead of cars. Good deal. Well, but look at what we're doing with it. 66 billion Amtrak trains northeast. What do we get? $33 million of maintenance, catching up, repairs, 11 million to buy a tunnel. Not a modern tunnel, but an old fashioned big ass tunnel. It costs a lot of money. We have faster trains, cut the schedule by a few minutes. We will get a kind of a fancied up pin station. Doesn't help you get anywhere probably. Get any new lines going into the South and all these places we can't go to in our train system? Nope. You know, when we, um, Remember Kennedy and the Sput the Russians sent up the Sputnik a few months ahead of when we sent up ours. And we kind of he kind of sold this deal that they're ahead of us and NASA security and all that. Well, it turns out that was all a lot of bunk that they weren't you were close to ahead of us. Um, they just happened to, you know, put a man up into space before we did and didn't do it particularly well or particularly safe with a lot of safety. They weren't operating with the same standards. They took higher risk. So the pretense was not real good. And we could discuss whether it was smart that we did it or not. Uh, I think it was because of all the incidental uh, technology advances that we got. And I think it was really important because it gave us a vision, an aspiration to be good, to be the best, to be first. And having a vision is really important. What do we have on Amtrak? We're giving the money to the people that run the worst train system of any consequence in the entire world. Nobody has trains as crappy as us. China has the most speed trains. Japan's had them for three decades, I think. Uh, France has them, England has them. Although England's behind like us. Um, Probably our trains compare with Russia. China's trying to build train, train tracks all the way from their part of the world to Europe. That's ambitious. We're trying to build, you know, a couple hundred miles section. We're not trying to build, we're trying to repair them and bring them up to the same crappy standards that they've had forever. Our trains are out of the 1970s, and we're going to spend 66 billion to bring them up to the 1970s standards. What the hell kind of vision is that? Why the hell spend money 
if you're going to make perpetuate crap, yeah, it's probably worth having even if you don't have a vision. And yeah, the trains are probably still worthwhile, but they're not going to get a lot more riders because they can't handle it. And they're still going to keep having accidents and it's not, we're not going anywhere. So how much of the infrastructure money is for projects where there's no vision? Are we just perpetuating standards and things that are, you know, 10 years old in case of trains, 30 years old. A dog wants me to throw the ball. So you've, you've heard me say before, I'm, I'm not enamored with what the Democrats are doing. Um, every little detail I look into it, it makes me even more nervous. And this is the first package, which is the joint effort with the Republicans. It's a $1 trillion package if they can figure it out. They're talking about $3 trillion more, $3.5 trillion more to do you know, kind of to save the planet. Mercy. So for a starter, what the hell should they do? If they're gonna do this train thing, they need paragraph one, hire the best people in the world to build the train and tell us how the hell to get to a modern train system. Go to France, Germany. We're not going to China although they're probably the best, Japan. Japan would be a good, good place to go. Give the project to someone that we can't strong arm, give enough protection and enough upper level goals that say we want a modern train system. Where the hell can we, and if we're restricted to 66 billion, where can we put in a modern train system from Penn Station to where to show the world what the hell, show the world, everybody knows except us, to show the United States what a modern train system looks like. I was in Australia and they're not by far the most modern, but they're so far ahead of us. You can set your watches by the trains in, in Australia and go pretty much all over the country that connected up with their bus system. So we need to have a like a upper level goal, a vision for where the hell we're trying to go to, like modern, efficient, cost-effective trains that meet the best world standards. That means doing stuff like tunnels or smaller diameter because they're mo more cost effective. Trains turn at a sharper radius. Um, how the tracks are laid down and the ballast and all that. Everything's changed. We're still doing it like in the 1970s. The machines that lay tracks, the type of engines, the type of cars, the type of wheels, do not duplicate 1970 standards. Can you imagine what your car would look like right now if you went back to 1970? You realize how poor gas mileage you get, how hard it is to change the wheel, how fast it corrodes. How little power it has for how much gas it uses, how quickly it wears out. That's what we're reproducing. Anyway, that seems stupid to me. I'm an engineer and it really insults me how backward we are. 
used to be one of the best countries in the world for engineering and for getting things done. Now we've been out of the game so damn long, we don't even know how to get back into the game. We're just perpetuating the game that we knew back in 1970. That's true with a lot of other industries. It's just, it hadn't slapped us in the face yet. This is a reality that most Americans don't see and are not prepared for, and they don't even understand why it's important to be good at what you do and how you spend your money. Just like Verizon doesn't use international phone standards. What the hell's with that? I'll just throw that in for bonus. Okay, I think I've vented enough. I'm not sure this will do much good, but I feel better. Let's do our infrastructure packages with a vision of what could be, not a vision of what was. This is the ancient Texan. Namaste.